on today's Destination Delicious, we are traveling to Europe for a visit to Spain, a country steeped in history where you will find spectacular architecture like this, as well as rich cultural traditions like the famous flamenco dance and delicious cuisine. Spain is the birthplace of the churro, churro, where it's often enjoyed for breakfast with dark liquid chocolate. That's what you see there, that's not coffee. And jamón ibérico, mouth-watering ham cut from a cured leg of pork that sells throughout Spain for hundreds of dollars per pound. The cuisine and culture of Spain are celebrated locally at the iconic Colombia restaurant in Ybor City, which is owned and operated by the family of our guest, Andrea Gonsmart, for five generations. That's more than a century. Andrea, such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for so much for having me today, Maggie. So everybody in Tampa knows the last name Gonsmart. I love the story behind it, though, which a lot of people don't know. Can we start there? Absolutely. So my grandfather, he was a traveling musician. He played the, uh, the violin and he traveled all over Cuba all over the United States and back when he was traveling Cesar Gonzalez which was our family's name was very much like a John Smith name so to be able to distinguish distinguish himself from other people he combined his mother's and his father's last name his father was Gonzalez his mother was Martinez and so then the last name Gonsmart was born the last name Gonsmart was born let's go back even further to his grandfather Casimiro senior who his family went from Spain to Cuba and eventually Tampa. Tell me his story of how they wound up here. Well, that was actually Adela, my grandmother's oh, right. yeah, Sorry grandfather. That. So his family originated in Asturias, the northern part of Spain, and they started making their way over to Cuba. My great-great-grandfather was born in Matanzas, Cuba, which we actually didn't know until my father tracked it on Ancestry.com. We thought he was born in Spain. So he was the first generation born in Cuba, but the last generation to be born there. And they quickly made their way to the United States, Ybor City in particular, um, in 1901. Ybor City back then uh, had so much opportunity, right? Absolutely. It was the Latin Quarter. It was the Latin Quarter, the cigar factories. It was a bustling center of the port of Tampa, honestly. And so many people came from um, Germany. They came from Italy, Spain, Cuba to go to Ybor City for this opportunity. And first it was Saloon Colombia before it was the restaurant, right? Yes, in 1901. Um, he came in 1903. He partnered with another gentleman to open the Columbia Saloon. And in 1905, it became officially his and then the restaurant opened and it's still at the same corner. Yes, the same corner. The only difference is, is now that we've got 15 dining rooms and 1,700 seats. Wow, well, something that is the same is some of the dishes that have been served all along for generations, family recipes. You've brought some to share with us. Let's start with the paella, which is traditionally Spanish. Yes, it is a national dish of Spain. It's got pork, chicken, mussels, clams, calamare, um, a traditional dish that many tourists and locals come to enjoy every day at the Columbia restaurant. So you're Spanish and Cuban, so of course you have the Cuban sandwich as well. The Cuban sandwich is so important, especially to us here in Tampa, since it is our official sandwich. And the beautiful thing about this sandwich is it represents everyone that came to Ebor that I'd mentioned earlier. You've got your ham, which represents the Spaniards, the pork, which represents the Cubans, the salami, which represents the Italians, and the mustards and the pickle that represent the Germans. I love that. Show me how you assemble a perfect Cuban sandwich. So you've got to start with the best Cuban bread, of course, you can get from La Segunda Central here Agreed. in Tampa. You start with your ham, you layer the meat very evenly. That way each bite tastes just like the last one. Mm. And my father firmly believes it has to be built in this order, otherwise it's not gonna taste right. <laughs> he can tell the difference. He would know. Yes, so then we go to our pork. All of our ham and all of our pork we roast in house. So it's extra special. Then we start with our salami, our Italians. I always say the Swiss represents Ybor City because it melts all of these different cultures together. Oh. So it's a true representation of Ybor City. That is beautifully put. Mustard. Yellow mustard, of course. Only on top because if you put it on both sides, it's going to be too overpowering and it's going to outshine the meat, Very which that's nice. got to be the star. There you go. And last but not least, pickles. the pickles. Got to have the pickles. Two pickles. And, and then you press it. Press it, or you can eat it cold. Cut diagonally, and that's how beautifully it comes out when you're at the Columbia restaurant. Beautiful. I think we should finish by toasting with some sangria. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that idea. Sangria, of course, also very typically Spanish. Yes, it is. We make all of our sangria in-house. We make it Thank table you. side when you're dining with us. We've got red sangria. We've got white sangria. We've got rosé sangria. 
and we also have available to go, which is even better now. So cute. Andrea, to you, your family, your contributions to Tampa Bay, and to España. Yes, salud. Where it all began. We'll be right back, and later in the show, we'll continue our celebration of Spain with a can't-be-missed flamenco performance. Daytime, we'll be right back.